Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1193688 on PS5. Method 1. Restoring the licenses. Going to the settings menu of your console. Go to users and accounts and select it. Select other. Select restore licenses. Once done, try check if error code CE1193688 is gone. Method 2. Power cycle the router. Unplug the modem and router from the power outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds. Plug the modem back into the power outlet first, wait 1 to 2 minutes, then it's time to power on the router. Wait for all panel lights on your cable modem to become green on before testing your internet connection. Connect to the network with your PS5 and test the internet connection. It's always better to test this by connecting with an Ethernet cable if possible. Method 3. Use manual DNS and MTU. To do that, just go to Settings. Select Network. Select Settings. Select Setup Internet Connection. After that, go to your Connected option depending on how you connect it can be the Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Next, press option button on the controller. Select advanced settings. Go to DNS settings then press X button on the controller to select it. Select manual. Here, I will use Cloudflare DNS. So, I will select primary DNS then type 1.1.1.1. Next, I will select secondary DNS and type 1.0.0.1. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, select OK, then check if the error code CE1193688 is gone. If not working, one more time, come back here. After that, select MTU settings. Select Manual. Select MTU then change the value to 1473. Select Done. Select OK. One more time. Check if the error code CE1193688 is gone. Method 4. Disable IPv6 on the router. You need log into your router and poke around until you find the options related to IPv4 and IPv6, in my case with my Viatel provided router this was. Go to Advanced. Go to WAN Connection. Go to WAN. In IP version section I will choose IPv4. Click Create to save. For Spectrum provided router this was. Go to Advanced. Select Connectivity. Select IPv6 then toggle. Enable, to off then click Apply. Once done. Check if the error code CE1193688 is gone. Method 5. Try connecting to a different internet network or the router. If you have more than one router, try replacing the router you are using with another router. We do this to eliminate the possibility that the problem is caused by the router's strict security features. If that's not possible, try connecting to a different internet network, such as a neighbor's wireless network, mobile data, LTE, 4G, 5G, etc. Then check if the error code CE1193688 is gone. Method 6. Rebuild database. To do this, we need visit safe mode by turn off the PS5 console, just pressing and holding the power button until you hear a second beep. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Now, connect your controller to the console with a USB cable.
Now press the PS button on the controller. Go to clear cache and rebuild database. Select rebuild database. Wait for the process to complete and restart your PS5 console. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix error code CE1193688. Method 6. Delete the game data and reinstall the game. You can delete game updates by press the PS button on the controller. After that, go to Downloads, Copies. Go to the game that is problem then press Option button on the controller, then select Cancel and Delete. Restart your PS5. After that go to Game Library. Go to the game you just deleted. Now, press Option button on the controller then select Check for Update. The PS5 will now check, download and install updates for the game and of course the problem will be fixed. In case the problem still occurs, please completely delete the game and reinstall it. Method 7. Factory Reset the Router. To do that, Make sure keep your router plugged in. Next, find your router's reset button. This will be on the back or the bottom of your router. Use a paperclip or similar object to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. Release the button. Wait for the router to power back on and check if the error code CE1193688 is gone. Please contact your internet service provider if the problem persists. Just ask them how to open ports for PlayStation. Method 8. Factory reset the PS5. This is the last resort when PS5 error couldn't be fixed with any of the above methods. You will need then to factory reset the PS5. For those unfamiliar, a factory reset is exactly what it sounds like. It resets your PS5 console to its default factory settings as if you were opening it and booting it up for the very first time. You'll lose all of your game data, save data, and personal account data that are stored on the machine. Basically anything on the system's hard drive will be erased. Because of this, it's recommended you first back up any files you don't want to lose for good. You can do this by transferring your files to an external hard drive or using the PS Plus cloud service. Once you have properly backed up your files, you can begin the factory reset. Thankfully, Sony makes this fairly easy on the PlayStation 5. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.